Hey guys, Jared Bronstein here and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. Today we'll be talking about one of the great old ones. This thing is such a power entity, it's been dubbed the unspeakable one. Him who is not to be named, among other things, including Haster. Now before we explore the question, what if Haster was real, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click that bell to be notified of other videos, and share this video with a Lovecraft fan. We got some comment replies coming up at the end of this one as well, so be sure to stick around for that. Alright, so Haster. Well, although many do believe Lovecraft created this monstrous god, if that's what we could define it as, he actually first appeared in the short story Haitia the Shepherd by Ambrose Bierce in 1893. Haster was actually quite harmless in Beers' short story. However, it seems Lovecraft took inspiration from this and turned Haster into a much more menacing monster. Although only briefly mentioned in his work, Haster is believed to have that of a cult following and a deep hatred for Cthulhu, his half-brother. So with this in mind, let's now explore what would happen if Haster was indeed real. Being considered an elder god or great old one, Haster would most definitely take over the world. With his cult-like following, I think it's safe to say, Haster would create an army of his own that would make things very simple for the human race. Follow the rules set out by the new ruler or emperor of the world, or perish. Now it's unclear what Haster's true intentions are. If we go by Lovecraft's version, it's also unclear what Haster is. Is it a he? Or is it a place? Is it an object? Of course, the ambiguity of this creature is what makes it so compelling. But for this video, let's say Haster is a godlike creature with evil intentions. So how would this affect our world as we know it? Again, it really depends what powers Haster has. Can he control our minds, or does he infect a certain group of people who then worship him as a god and try to conform others or kill. I think that's a good route to go, so let's keep moving forward. With Haster having an army or a cult like following on Earth, it would really be a worldwide problem. Those with other religious beliefs would most likely argue the idea that there is a greater God out there. This would cause a divide among people more so than there already is. However, assuming the people who worship Haster are less human than anyone else, it may bring the rest of the world together. The idea here is that those who worship Haster would almost be possessed in a way. In Haitia the Shepherd, Haster is literally a god of shepherds. This leads me to believe those who do follow his religion, or cult of sorts would be just that, sheep. And with this sheep or herd mentality, they would all follow the same rules and have the same goals. Now of course I'm not saying that his followers would legitimately be sheep, I'm saying they'd have that sheep herd mentality. In this case, it would be converting the rest of the world to embrace and praise the Great One, Haster. Now of course, these people wouldn't have a superpower of any kind. It'd be very similar to that of the Manson cult. However, these people, just like those who followed Charles Manson, could be quite violent and dangerous. Identical to that of a godlike figure, the presence of Haster would really depend on those who believe and to what degree. Especially considering how open-ended the idea of Haster is, there could be extremists and those who just somewhat believe in his presence. This too could cause an issue even between these two types of people. Would people be sacrificed in the name of Haster, or would it be sheep instead? Again, completely open-ended and up for interpretation, depending on the beliefs of those who look to this thing as a newly founded god. There's no telling what behaviors or even ceremonies these people would carry out. My name is Haster, I am god of all. <laughs> There's also the idea of summoning, which brings us back to the sacrifice. At first, when someone were to stumble upon the remains of this ritual, it would certainly open an investigation of sorts. But at that point, it may be too late. If those who follow this godlike figure were able to summon him into the world, there's no saying how much destruction he could cause. Given the powers he has, that make him undefeatable. If the physical being of Haster was summoned onto the earth, it would quite literally be a hell on earth for those who don't believe or worship most likely leading to their death or forever worshipping a god they didn't originally believe in. It's safe to say it would be a day of reckoning. That is, of course, if the physical being was to be summoned onto Earth. If not, and he was just a godlike figure that was never seen by anyone, this too could be quite costly. Not to say he has powers of sorts, but those who believe would of course need a walking god of sorts to lead their rituals or services. The way other religions have priests or rabbis, the cult of Haster would certainly have a physical being be the leader on Earth. This person may be the one holding this cult together, or simply just a figure in place of the real god that can easily be replaced once they die. Ultimately, there are many ways the world could be affected if Haster was real. If he was a physical being, there's no doubt he would overtake the world, and make everyone his slaves or kill them. However, if he was just an ambiguous being or a godlike type that were to be worshipped, it's very likely a cult following would be started and those who worshipped may carry out various different rituals, summonings, and sacrifices to try to please their new god. Ultimately, it would just mean another religion would be introduced to society, and it wouldn't necessarily change the world as we know it, but what those that worship do may be questionable. People may be at risk of being attacked by those in this cult, which eventually would see the worshippers arrested and sentenced for their crimes. With all that being said, this could also quite possibly mean the likes of Cthulhu among other godlike creatures may also be real. If this were the case, well, there would be complete chaos on Earth. 
With these evil beings and figures ruling our world, going at war with each other, there's no way anyone would necessarily survive the massacre. That would be the fight between these unearthly gods. Of course, there would also be cults praising these other gods, and it would just be a whole nightmare for everyone, really. Now, thankfully, this is all fiction. The works of H.P. Lovecraft will always be fan favorites and will live on until the end of time, but all in our minds, of course. That's what makes his work so intriguing to many. There's no real right or wrong. He left his story so open ended, it allows the mind to do what it does wander. Now, before we wrap up this one, make sure to subscribe, click that bell, and of course, drop us some suggestions on other videos you'd like to see on here. I also want to know if you could worship one of H.P. Lovecraft's unearthly gods, which would it be? Let me know down below. I'm genuinely curious to see what you guys say. For now, we got some comments to reply to, so let's do just that. In the video, should you really cover up your webcams? Magma Gaming said, I get paranoid easily. I'm going to start covering. Like I said, I started covering my webcam right after I scripted that video. I'm not taking any chances, guys. Like, who knows who's watching you? It's just weird. I barely even use that webcam, so I actually never use it, so. Lyle Ashton Brondial said, Do this next, please. What if all people in the world are good and there is no evil? Well, that's actually up for interpretation. What do you consider good and evil? I mean, some people consider evil those who don't follow a certain religion, while others consider people that just don't commit crimes. Again, it's really up to interpretation, so that's kind of a hard one to do based off of your personal beliefs. Project Dream said, FBI, yes. CIA, no. NSA, yes. I mean, yeah, I think that sums it up. It really depends on, I guess, the agencies that want to keep track of you, but at the end of the day, guys, I mean, we all have iPhones, we all have Samsungs, you know, facial recognition, the fingerprint stuff. They have ways of tracking us, guys. Like, we're always being watched. There's cameras all over the world. You know, they tap into our Wi-Fi. They know what we're searching. They have our IP addresses. We're all connected on the web. You know, Facebook, social media accounts, any type of really form of going online, being social. The government knows what you're doing at all times. There's really no way around that. So when you kind of just accept it and it is the way it is, you know, you'll live a better life because you just do whatever you want and that's it. And on that note, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, please leave us some comments below with other videos you guys would like to see as we're always open to your suggestions and we'll see you guys in the next one.